B-O-S-S. It stands for Bringing Out Successful Sisters, and that is the mission of the Boss Network, an online group of women who support each other through digital content programs and event-based networking. Here with more on the Boss Network, President and Founder, Dr. Kamika Smith. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. All right. Tell us about how this all started. 15 years now. Yeah. So right here in Chicago, um, I was an employee for Chicago Public Schools, and I got laid off at the height of the recession. I had always been an entrepreneur, but you know, but more kind of like a side hustle. Yeah. And I had this idea of like starting this event marketing company. And so when I got laid off, I was just like, I'm gonna just take a year off and kind of just build my business and just see what happens. But during that time, I noticed that there was not a lot of resources for black entrepreneurs. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm an event planner. Let me launch a series of events just for us so we can talk about the challenges that we face starting businesses. And we launched our first series. And it blew up so fast that, you know, I started touring and going across the country doing these events. And 15 years later, we have over 200,000 women in our community. And we've done so many great things, like being in Forbes and Inc. And yeah, yeah. it's been a great journey. A lot of great write-ups from major national publications. But let's yes. break down what you just said. So you had this unfortunate event happen in your career. Mm. But then you were able, it was a blessing in disguise, because then you started your yeah. own business. Yeah. But how did you even know where to begin to start your own business? Well, that's the thing. I tell people I was going as I was growing, you know, yeah. so I really didn't know how to start a business. I created a community selfishly for myself, but that community also was supportive of each other. So bringing these women together, I was learning about entrepreneurship and we were kind of teaching each other. So it was kind of like a, a little bit of a selfish thing for me, but it was a beautiful thing because I was like, OK, if I'm learning so much, I should be able to extend this to other women. And then that's when we launched a digital platform, thebossnetwork.org. And so that space is where all the women came together across the country and we started to talk about building businesses and you know some of the challenges we face and how do we support each other. And you guys are doing so much mm -hmm. in the community. I don't even yes. know where to begin, you guys. There are so <laughs> many things here, but you have a couple of initiatives uh, yeah. for the 15th. You're doing it year, year round, excuse yes, me. all year. Invest in Progress Grant. Let's start there. Yeah, so this actually is our third year with the Invest in Progress Grant. During COVID, many of you know that there was a lot of small businesses that were struggling and a lot of African-American businesses were not getting access to the loans that were available. Mm -hmm. And so I just saw the commitments that a lot of the brands were making to the black community. So I said, you know what? I've been doing this for 10 plus years. Let me launch my own fund and actually fundraise. Yeah. And we were able to work with an amazing brand called Sage that's a leader in um, financial accounting and um, human resources for small businesses. And they actually invested the first $1.5 million into wow. our fund. And that's how we launched the Invest in Progress grant program. Yeah, that's in the new launch of the Boss Impact Fund as well that you yes. just mentioned. But we got to mention too that you donated $250,000 yes. to nine sororities, right? Yeah, well, actually, we're currently um, for this year's grant program, we're partnered with the Chicago Urban League, uh, which is, of course, a very institutionalized figure here in Chicago, and then also the Divine Nine Sorority. So there's four sororities represented within the organization, and we're working with three of those sororities to. Uh, actually get the word out about these grant programs so that we can start getting people involved very early because a lot of those sororities they start in college those mm -hmm. women and so now we're teaching them entrepreneurship and giving them startup grants there are so many amazing things that you guys are i implore you all to go to their <laughs> website because there is just lists and lists of ways that you're giving back to the community and yes. helping if anyone's watching right now though and wants to be a boss yeah. What are your tips? How can yeah, we be yeah. a boss? Well, the first thing I would say is you need money to start a right. business, right? <laughs> right? So I would visit thebossimpactfund.com and apply for the grant. The deadline is this Friday. Um, and you get a $10,000 grant and a full year of mentorship through the Boss Business University. And so that is the, the way to get started. But also I tell people there's three things I tell most businesses. You want to start with doing your research, wanting to know what is the business industry that I'm going into mm -hmm. and what's the market looking like for that industry and how do I kind of bring something different to the table. Second is revenue. you got to figure out how do, are you going to make money with this business, right? Um, and then the third thing is relationships. People don't understand your relationships matter so much in your business because that's going to get you customers. People do business yeah. with people that they know and they spend money with people that they like. So yeah. you are yeah. such a valuable resource. And that's the wonderful thing. You give practical advice, but then you also support the entrepreneurial spirit. Yes. So we thank you so much for joining with thank us. You. Uh, for more on what the Boss Network has going on and coming up, head to the bossnetwork.org.